The Carlos Museum is an encyclopedic collection. Uh, we're an art museum, or a university art museum, and if you look at what we collect, it essentially follows the uh, teaching priorities, primarily of the art history faculty here at Emory. The Carlos Museum, um, we're uh, we're a relatively small facility in our main museum. It's a building that was not originally designed to be a museum. And so the storage areas uh, are relatively small and cramped and the material that we can keep on site at the main museum uh, are essentially pieces that are regularly pulled for teaching purposes, uh, pieces that our curators like to use for one reason or another regularly, and pieces that are either going up on exhibit or have recently come off of exhibit. Uh, and and, uh, and the remainder of the material all lives here. Uh, and so this represents about, uh, about uh, between one half and two thirds uh, volume wise of our collection. For us, offsite storage is inevitable. We knew that that would always be the case. Uh, that said, the amount of square footage available within offsite storage facilities is not limitless. And again, we would like to be able to keep our offsite storage facility relatively close to our main building. And because of that, we're in an urban area. We want we we uh, we can't have unlimited footprint of storage because square footage is expensive. And so we have to make the best use that we can of our available square footage footprint. And high density shelving, mobile shelving is really the only option for us. In regard to the shelving layout, it was a little bit challenging. The building that, the footprint of the building that we had been in previously was not rectangular. It was an irregularly shaped space, and, and it's hard to tell from this angle, but this layout actually is uh, almost conical in form. It's a long triangle uh, that was custom designed to fit that footprint. Uh, the challenge was that we needed to relocate it to this facility, which is an enormous rectangle, uh, and, uh, and, and at that time did not have the funds to reconfigure the layout. Essentially, they wanted to pick it up and move it exactly as it is. And so one of the challenges we had to deal with was obviously laying out that irregular uh, form in a, in a rectangle. And, and what we ended up with was uh, uh, we squared off the front facing, the public facing uh, entrance and allowed the rear side that backed up to the exterior wall to be the irregular form. And we used that to store loose material on pallets, basically created objects, things like that. So this is a, a, a large, or for us, relatively large run of Space Shaver, uh, mostly open shelving. We do have a handful of cabinets that we use for uh, uh, controlled environments that are fitted into the, the system. And then we have a small number of pullout drawers. But the vast majority of what is in here are open shelving um, and, and, and the artwork is just stored for the most part laying flat on the open shelving. Uh, and we, sh we shim it up and, and support it. In many ways, we, we were in a fortunate situation in that with limited budget funds, we uh, w were not able to build a layout of the size that we had hoped. Uh, but we were fortunate in that Emory's Woodruff Library was uh, making some changes to how they use their footprint of their building and had a large uh, quantity of Patterson Pope uh, shelving material of a uh, space saver shelving material that um, that was going to become available and was was bound for the landfill at that point. And uh, thankfully, uh, we had a, a wise sales rep uh, who pointed us in the direction uh, that uh, that this shelving might become available. And and we had good friends at Emory Libraries and were able to make it work. And, and in the end, we saw a substantial cost savings by being able to reuse the existing shelving equipment, which uh, although it is maybe 30 years old, is no worse for the wear. It looks the same as the equipment that we have in this building that is uh, 15 years old. Uh, so so it, it, it was an easy choice for us.